G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to channel my inner bad chad and finally get this cab back sorted out. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> yeah, so with the um, the running gear and the chassis all but finished, all I've got to do is mount my battery, radiator, do some electricals, and put some fuel on it and a seat we could drive it down the road. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to get that cab sorted out. But I'm pretty happy how this thing's turned out. I um, pushed it out the front this morning, took a couple of photos. And I'm pretty happy with the stance. So anyway, let's go and have a look at this cab. So when you squint, it doesn't look too bad, but she's as rough as guts. Oh, I'm zooming, hang on. Ah! And I've got a lot of welding to do. Every single piece is just tack welded. I've still got to try and sort these corner pieces out. Fill all the gaps. Take two inches out of the roof still so anyway there's going to be a whole lot of time lapse and not a whole lot of talking so let's get into it so just looking how this top panel sits you can see there where the thickness of this um, steel piece here this brace too high so that's how much we're going to take off so what I'm going to do I'll trim this right off along this seam take it off and then we'll drop it down then we'll zip it along and tack it all back together.
tidy then. Well, that's done. That job's done. It's tacked in. Um, it looks better than it did. And it lines up with my roof panel, although there's a big gap which we need to fill. A lot of welding on this thing. But that's going to work nicely now. So that's good. Yeah, I've been dreading this. Um, but I've got to do it. No one else is going to do it for me. So we just got to hook in more welding. Righto, it's another day. What's well, the next day? I spent last night until I couldn't see getting into welding all this stuff up. She's rough and ready, but hey, the whole panel is, so I'm not going to get too precious with it. Um, she's going to get a full skimmer bog over the whole lot of it. And then we'll um, we'll sand it all down to the ocean floor, as Chad would say. Um, so the next bit I've got to do, I'm just going to work my way down. I'm going to have to pie cut this section to close it up. That all, the chop part is all pretty good there. Um, the real fun is going to be these corners. Um, I unpicked them last night because they're um, they're not right. The angles are different, so we'll, um, we'll work that out as we get to it. Um, but I won't do that until I've got these other pieces in here. So anyway, let's get the welder out and um, let's keep going. Okay, so the top half's welded up. It's not awesome, but it's going to do. Um, there's going to be some uh, carefully placed pinstripes and um, patina on this portion of the cab. I'm telling you that right now. Now for the fun part, I'm going to try and sort these corners out. This is really going to test this crusty old mechanics panel beating skills out. Look at that. super pretty but we got kind of the right shape now so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this piece happening so my initial measurement of two inches and that's what I thought had to be taken out of this for the height was right so I couldn't have gone any more out of the top anyway we're just on that radius so there's no chance so I've taken it out of the middle I'll get out of the light 
just about to cut the last cut and I'll start welding it back together and like always this thing's beating me up but we're getting there <laughs> I ended up having to take two inches out of that center section just to get everything to line up. I don't know how it could be so different. The original panels were four inch chop. Took four inches out of that and I still had to take another three inches out of it to make it all line up. So anyway, I still didn't get to do those corner pieces and I did obviously have to take that lower panel off. Um, so I'll do the corner pieces before I put the lower panel in. Look at all that welding, it's ridiculous. I will be back tomorrow. Righto, it's the next day. I've had a busy morning running around getting bits and pieces that I needed. Um, it's time to do a couple of hours on the cab. We'll try and sort these corners out. We'll see how we go. Oh, Mr. Hart, what a mess! But it's on there. I'm not going to bore you with the other side. I'll just get that sorted out and then we'll work on the bottom part together. We're on. And it's another abomination. But it's going to have to do. If you look this way and squint, you can kind of see what we've got going on. So anyway, I'm done for the day. Sun's going down. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. Alrighty, it's another day. It's a bit cold today. I hope it doesn't rain. But I want to try and tackle this and it'd be nice to have this panel all welded up today if I can. I've got a bit to do. So let's just get into it.
So you what there's some tension on that now, but she's in. I had to overlap it down to about there because it steps down and there's no way to get behind to, to get it back out because there's a, a brace there, so that's all right. So we're all tacked in now. I'll finish welding this all up and I'll be back to you when I'm done. We are finally welded up. That's a lot of welding, grinding. Man, I've ground some weld off today. So she might present well on camera, and it does when you squint over here too. Um, but it's going to need a lot of work, and it's, it's not going to be perfect. I started with a turd, and I've tried to polish it, and I've still got a turd, but it's better than I had. Um, but everything's welded up all the way around. We have a complete panel that I can use. Um, next job I'll be putting these pieces on. They need a piece in here so I'll do all that when I do that. Um, I'll do that off camera. We don't need to see that. I'll tell you what, she's on there tight. Um, manipulating metal. Making it fit when it didn't want to. I might give it a quick whiz around to make it look pretty. What do you reckon? Who says you can't polish a turd? It's still a turd, but it's polished. Sort of, kind of. So there you go. That's taken me about three days on and off to get this sorted out. There's one day I did a couple of hours, but they haven't been full days, so we'll call it three days. But I have finally sorted out that cab to the point where I can start putting some filler on it anyway. It's never going to be perfect, but it doesn't need to be now. Um, we're together and um, we're winning, so I reckon we'll have paint on this next week. No problem at all. So that's it for me for this one. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I worked hard this one. Yeah, it's been it's rewarding when you get to this stage. It's really rewarding. It's not rewarding while you're doing it sometimes. It's hard work, but I don't know if I feel like picking up another grinder again for a while, but I have to. Um, still got some work to do. But that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.